Our next question comes in a set of two questions, question number 15 and question number 16. It says that Robin takes as much time to row 117 kilometers downstream as he takes to row 65 kilometers upstream. So let's decode this amount of information first. Okay. So we'll go by the conventional uh, assumptions x as the speed of boat in still water and uh, y as the speed of stream. So to cover 117 kilometers downstream, the time taken will be 117 upon x plus y and this time is equal to the time that he takes to row 65 kilometers upstream so 65 divided by speed upstream which is x minus y okay now doing cross multiplication uh, so first of all we can cancel out the common factors so 13 is the common factor so 13 into 5 and 13 into 9 so 9 times x minus y is equal to 5 times x plus y okay so from here you will get 4 x is equal to 14 y and the value of x upon y is equal to 7 upon 2 so 7 upon 2 is the ratio of uh, speed in uh, uh, speed of boat in still water and the speed of stream okay so i'll assume x as 7k and y as 2k for the remaining part of the question okay now the next statement saying that he takes a total of 22 hours and 24 minutes so if i convert it into decimals 22 hours 24 minutes so i can write it as 22.4 so 22.4 hours he is taking to row from point a to b and then come back to point a when the distance between a and b is given as 144 kilometers all right so what will he do is he will go 144 kilometers downstream and then will come back in a total of 22.4 minutes or uh, 22.4 hours so let's make another equation so first of all downstream 144 kilometers divided by speed downstream speed downstream is x plus y 7 uh, 7k plus 2k that is 9k plus 144 kilometers up the stream it will be 7 minus 2 which is 5k and the total time taken is 22.4 okay so 144 upon 9 is uh, 16 upon k plus 144 upon 5 is 28.8 28.8 divided by k and that is equal to 22.4 so simplifying 16 plus 28 is 44 44.8 upon k is equal to 22.4 so the value of k will come out to be 2 okay so now i have got the values of x and y so value of x is 7 into 2 that is 14 kilometer per hour and the value of y is 2 into 2 that is 4 kilometer per hour all right so this is the base of the question we have got the values of x and y and now let's see these two questions individually Question number 16 says, how many hours will Robin take to row 56 km downstream if he doubles the speed at which he rows in still water? Okay, so he's going downstream. So originally the value of x that we calculated was 14 and the value of y was 4. Now if he doubles the speed at which he rows in still water, that means the value of x is doubled and now it is equal to 28. So the net speed downstream will be equal to 28 plus 4 that is 32 kilometer per hour okay so now he is rowing at a speed of 32 kilometers per hour right and the distance covered is 56 kilometers downstream so the time taken will be equal to distance that is 56 kilometers divided by the speed downstream which is now equal to 32 so this value 56 upon 32 will come out to be mm, so i'll cancel out eight so it will be four and seven seven upon four that is 1.75 hours now in terms of hours and minutes this will become one hour and 45 minutes so 0.75 of an hour is three fourth of an hour which is equal to 45 minutes so correct answer is one hour 45 minutes which is option d and yes this is the correct answer all right now overall i can say that both these questions can be kept in a level of difficulty of uh, easy to moderate okay so you have two questions you just need to work on the common data and uh, both the questions can be answered easily 
in less than one minute each okay